I got a bunch of nettles. Dehydrate them in my hanging dehydrator here. Thank you to my neighbor, Ben and Chisa. They're awesome. They have a big garden and they're always, they're always sharing, sharing sheep milk and veggies. Good sheep. Yeah. Since the door ripped off, we got a, another tethering point for the little lamb. For Lammy Ludo. This is everyone's tethering points. We got Annie up here and Missy and Lulu and Ramy. Yeah. Got some cottonwood branches fell down off this tree back here. I was able to just drop the yoke and walk right across the road and grab this for them while they munched on this little, little lot entrance. Lot entrance weeds. You guys love cottonwood. This is your this is your favorite tree, hey? For sure. I think it's the most efficient. It's like the epitome of tree hay because it's one of the softest woods. So the branches break more often and the leaves don't release from the branches as readily as other leaves so they just they make for a really quick grab up and uh, throw into the basket or into the wagon i have enough of it i filled up the entire wagon with branches of this before to bring them back there you go ready Another direction there. i love how i could stop and go so much more efficiently than if I were to have an animal pulling. Like no other animal uh, would like to and would understand the need to stop and go so much. Like right now I want to go just a little bit more to give her some slack. So just use my bicep. Have fun with my bicep instead of using my whole body. A donkey can only pull, pull forward or any pulling animal can only pull forward the same muscle so it's not fun either like i can turn around and pull with just one arm or both arms or try to pull with just my scapula or just my bicep whatever it's a lot a lot more fun for me to transport this wagon myself also but peaceful i don't have to worry about the medium of an animal to interact with and communicate with it's cheap this wagon isn't big enough to need an pulling animal Unless you're going over a San Francisco steep hill. Then you can just hit, hook it to the back. You could hear like a cottonwood. Hook it to the back of a, a car, like pop their trunk. And you could sit in the trunk and just hold on to this. And people could help you up hills, steep hills. With the sheep all tethered, you just have to go really slow. Keeping my wagon out of the road. All right. Going down Rap Road. Rap Road used to be too steep for us to go down. It's not even that steep. Uh, this new brake system this is so peaceful. Walking down this. One handed, easy peasy walking. Downhill. This is awesome. Thank you, God. This has been so peaceful. Since we rehomed those two lambs last night, coming out today has been so peaceful. This is awesome. I haven't worried at all. I haven't worried about any lambs randomly going on the backside of the wagon and getting in the way of traffic. This is efficient gorilla grazing right here. It's cheap, yeah. They're eating, and they're making milk. I'm milking, and then my machine's making ice cream inside at the same time. And the freezer's holding the, holding the ice cream already been made. Can't get more freaking awesomely efficient than this. Look, there's miner's lettuce here. Where else are you gonna find miner's lettuce? I want some. Yeah, look at this. 
Miner's lettuce is all drying up. It's getting hot. It's going into summer. Not enough moisture for it. It's getting too hot. Good you. Wagner Creek Park. Perfect, perfect place to take a little break. This would be too steep for me to go up, but I can make it around here pretty easily. It's amazing. Just a little, little bit of steepness can make it exponentially more difficult. Ready, girls? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Annie. Go on this way, mama. Yes, easy. I love this size wagon. I can pull it myself. Yeah, dude, this is by far the best setup. This has been so peaceful today. I'm going down a steep hill. Just going down the road and seeing these primo weeds on the edge of the sidewalk. And because we're so mobile, I was able to just pull in and stop. And we'll continue on down the actual road. Gorilla grazing at its finest. This is the most efficient gorilla grazing setup I've ever had by far. I've pulled the wagon around. I got that good toilet paper. Achoo. One. Good ship. Yeah. Good boy, my ram. Ready? Yeah. Going uphill. Wagon's super easy to pull. I can pull it uphill with a pinky.
the easy side of Walden Hill. Hopefully it stays in this lane. All right, ready? Go. Oh God, I hope it doesn't drift over another lane. <laughs> the car. <laughs> All right, let's go, come on. Come on, Annie. let's go. Good girl. Go. Oh, they got pigs. Hey, good use. Oh my god, why is it going back and forth like that? That's retarded. Come on. My sheep are afraid of the drone. Hello. Come on, Annie. I'm pulling on. Come on. Come on, I don't need to pull the wagon and you. Come on. If I don't keep her up here, she'll fall back. And if she falls back, then that means Missy will have attention on hers. This isn't hard at all. This side is easy. It's amazing how, how much easier this side is. I can do this multiple times a day. This size hill. I'm even pulling my sheep here. Come on, don't be afraid of it. And he set this drone to follow us further, further ahead. All right. Good girl. All right, seat side. I also came up this last week at the end of the day. I was already somewhat tired. That makes a big difference. It is definitely steeper though. It's all about steep, about grid. All right, I'm gonna start slowing this down now. Yeah, it's steep. And the wind, this little drone. This is the steepest hill we'll ever find anywhere in the valley. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Butted right up against the fence, letting them graze while I go back and find this drone. What happened to it? Good sheep. Thank you for your patience. Look at my low center of gravity wagon design. Taking this like a champ. Ready? Look at that. So strong. That's awesome, dude. I love the size of this wagon. It's so perfect for me. Yeah. Perfect for me to pull. Once I got in shape, finally. I just went into this building next door and asked them if my sheep could munch on their weeds for 20 minutes or so. They said, sure. Places for them to graze, vacant lots and whatnot are um, surprisingly few right now around here um, because the, uh, yeah, it's the summer set, it's starting to set in and so the property owners are having to legally maintain their fire hazardous overgrowth. And they always try to cut it as low as they possibly can so that it, uh, stifles it for as long as possible so they don't have to pay to have it cut again. Good shoot. Good shoot. Yeah. This is some good good sized weeds right now. They're they're large in size but they're 
not too far along in their cycle, their life cycles here. Not like adult plants, teenage. They don't like the older ones that are tougher. They like at this stage or newer. I'm taking a detour. Let's headed down this alley. Seen all these weeds? Let's see how they like it. Hmm. Smoked matcha. Smoke the milk. Love my bedboard milking milk stand milking bench. Love it. All right, you get your raisins. Good ship. Hey, come see. Hey, come see. You're all milking on the side of the road. We are milking. On the side of the roadway, milking. On the side of the roadway, milking. And a vacant lot of our friends. On the side of the road. On the side of the roadway, milking. On the side of the roadway, milking. On the side of the road. Alright. Good ship. Alright, good ship. Thank you, Izzy. So you walk them out to the shade where you have the rim tethered. And I understand that this is their like little base for grazing around and you put the water out here. Huh. And then now this is their little grazing base for the evening. So I went over the rest of the way with the walk. I love walking them on the side of the road right here. This field is unfenced, but it's growing alfalfa hay. All right, this is my kefir strainer. This is what I make my kefir cream cheese in. And this is the pure way it leaches through. Excellent for cooking potatoes or anything that you would normally use um, water to boil pasta, anything. This will make a much more flavorful and healthy version of. And this is my cheese head up front. I want to keep in the sun so it keeps heated and continue to leach the way out enough that the curd could get down into the jar's realm. When I use a jar like this, I fill it up with the warm sheep milk, sprinkle in some rennet, and then just shake it up and let it set until, until the curd sets. And then I'd stick my long knife down in there and I chop it up, chop up the curd, let it set for a minute, and then dump it upside down onto my catch slash mold. Yes, sheep. Look at ice pull. Look at this beautiful bouquet. See, I knew you wanted some. It's right there. I tried to give it to you. Let's see. Well, let me get out of there. to have this front basket stay empty just so I can have it for this type of stuff so I can fully like get it in there so they're not pulling it out before we get to the spot to rest I get out the I've been back in the ball fields let's see what, let's see what it's like
still got lots of goat heads, it feels like, on the bottom of my sandals. Let's go. Good sheeps. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, Annie. Sush. Come on. Okay, let's see what this does. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. This is going to be interesting. It tastes really good, actually. Oh, silky, 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 silky. Yeah. Silky, silky, It is amazing. It's amazing how complex icing a simple smoke job can do to anything, to any food. I've been putting it in my um in my go sun. The smoker just smokes any meal and uh like, I don't need spice on it. This is interesting. Like, up front flavor. It's really unique. It doesn't linger very long. So it keeps you wanting the next sip. This is good. This is like mozzarella, except it hasn't been stretched yet. It's fresh taste, milky tasting. Making a fresh cheese and mozzarella burger, basically. Texture, little poppies, and they're like kind of like poppy seeds. Awesomely simple sandwich, cheese sandwich. Thank God. Nice. Local Ashland sourdough bread, local tomatoes, and my sheep's local cheese. Mmm, this thought was too good. I have to make another one with the heels of the tomato that was left. Bit on the ground, get some of the black stuff off. Keeps down and having to maintain it. There's so much honey smacks, natural honey smacks. So beautiful. 
actual honey, not, not corn syrup. Honey Smex, I think, has honey in it, but it's most, it's like down on the ingredients list from corn syrup. It's primary sweetener. This is 100% local honey. Oh my god, I stuck the pot in the fridge under my bed. Oh, so good. So the honey would um, harden around the outside and it'll stay crunchier without like perfect uniform coating like they do the commercial honey smacks. But I got these bowls, keeps some dry cereal separate. It's like anti-soggy bowl. It's so awesome. That makes this homemade <laughs> way better than any store bought I've ever had cereal. Look at that. So easy though. Oh my god. The bowl really makes a difference. Having these fresh bites is amazing. So toasted flavor. So good. Ridiculous. I love that green pepper. I need to use it more often. Skunk almost closed it up in here.